Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to this video. I have a powerful word for you today from the Lord. I have been up since 3 a.m. this morning, praying for hours against the enemy and the plots of the enemy and what he is trying to do to God's people this year. But you must remember when the word of the Lord was given this year, the wicked are about to fall. You know, we're in the last days and wickedness is increasing. And people also who say they're Christians do and say things that are not right as well. They think they're doing the right thing or praying a certain way. But what comes out of their heart and what they say is what is inside of them. And that could mean coursing people. There's also people who are not of God. Their intent is just pure evil and it's to curse people, to cause people's downfall. And we were told by the Spirit of God this year to be alert, to be awake, occupy till I come. There's darkness out there, but your light is so strong. It is annoying the devil. So he'll try, try to do everything to come against you, your family, your destiny, whatever it is you're doing. So you, brother and sister, this year, you have to fight. In 2022, you have to fight. Now, don't misunderstand me. You don't fight people. We don't fight our neighbour. You don't fight your family because that causes problems. Remember, you're not of this world. You're of the kingdom of God. So you fight spiritually against principalities of darkness, evil spirits, the devil and his cohorts, people who the devil is using to try and hurt you. So we're going to pray. I have been praying for hours for God's people, for myself, a lot of things. And I'm going to explain to you now, but we're going to pray first. So Father, in Jesus name, I thank you for every single person who is listening to this. May they be blessed, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. Holy Spirit, I ask you to have your way, Almighty God, in this prayer of protection for your people, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory be to God. Jesus Christ is Lord. So no weapon formed against you will prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is your heritage as a servant of the Lord. Jesus Christ is your Lord and Saviour. Anyone touches you, touches the apple of his eye. We remember in Deuteronomy 32, 35, God says, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. Their foot will slip in due time, for the day of their calamity, their disaster is near. And these things will come upon them swiftly, hastily, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Now understand who you are, brother and sister. You might think, yeah, 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 my enemy is going to fall. You must understand if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you do what he says. What does our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ say about your enemies? Does he say, laugh at their downfall? rejoice and jump around and say aha be very careful because if you do this if you retaliate in the flesh if you retaliate face to face with someone who's either hurting you coming against you hurting your children whatever it is attacking your business you're basically doing god's job it's important that you you do what jesus says and let god be god Jesus tells us in Luke, I want you for your homework to read Luke 6 for yourself. Judge not and you shall not be judged. Condemn not and you shall not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Have mercy. Walk in the spirit. Treat others as you want to be treated. And this is not what some people want to do. But like I said, if you react in the flesh, you're playing the part of God. And it will just get worse. So it's best to do what Jesus says. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because God is love. 
Remember witches curse. What comes out of someone, when someone curses you, when someone says nasty things, that's already in that person. Just like a bully. Or someone who just hates someone for no reason. For examples, you know, I worked with someone before and this lady to my face was the nicest person, lovely person, but God was continually showing me behind my back and people knew it. She would gossip about me, talk about me, slander me, mock me, but to my face she was so charming, so two-faced. But I was so nice and kind to her, she would get convicted every time she would come near me. But she would continue to do what she was doing. And I prayed for her and prayed for her. You're to do what Jesus says. You know, people with ministries, there are people there who are praying. And there are also people who think they're praying, but they're actually coursing you. Like someone on a prayer team and they're coursing the pastors. They want them to separate with their wife or their husband. They're speaking courses and not prayers. This can happen. This is why you have to be careful who is in your circle. Be careful because not everyone is for you. There is always a Judas. But you don't walk around with a suspicious mind. Thinking is it them, is it them. So just like Jesus, Jesus knew. So you should always be alert. Don't be deceived. We're going to pray about all this now today because I'm just on fire of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus also says, blessed are you when people shall hate you, when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast your name out for evil's sake, who talk about you, who gossip about you. You know, Jesus even tells us, even your own enemies come from your own household. Your mother could be jealous and envious of you and try to course you. Your grandparent, your dad, they could be just coursing you. Your sister could be so jealous of you. Your brother so jealous of you. Your friend who says they're your friend is actually not. They're nice to your face and they're gossiping about you behind your back. They want you to fall. They love it when you're upset, when you're down. Just be careful. Be prayerful and God will show you these things. Hallelujah. You know, there's times even when people leave churches, leave groups and people curse them. They course their downfall because they've left them. And that is not the spirit of God. The spirit of God is love. We bless people. We don't course. So God says, I'll course those who course you. Remember, this is God. God is the one who fights on your behalf. But God is a just God also. So we remember even when David sinned and God gave him three things. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Either your enemy is going to attack you, a plague is going to come, or this is going to happen. So when we open the door to sin, if we don't do what Jesus said, you open the door for the devil yourself and it causes disaster. So remember, the words that come out of your mouth are to be blessing, life and love. But when you pray against your enemy, when you are fighting in the realm of the spirit, you're fighting principalities of darkness, the spirit behind that person that's causing evil against you. So that's what witches do, they curse. And also even people who say they're Christians can curse and don't realize. If you have a child and you're coursing them, you'll never do this, you'll never amount it, blah, 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 blah. Words hurt and they can cause damage. They can stay with someone. So be careful with your words. So love your enemies. It's something you don't want to hear, but it's something Jesus tells you to do. Now remember Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, if you won't do what I say? Bless them who curse you. Pray for them who despitefully use you. You know, when people get offended, when people get rejected, when people get hurt and pushed out, their reaction is what comes out of you. So like it's like when people leave your group or the church or work or they've done something, blah, what comes out of you? Do not let poison come out of you. And if you have noticed that, you need to repent of the words that you spoke. Because this year, the wicked are about to fall. 
God is about to uproot the prideful, those who have made people cry, the robbers, the thieves, the fakers. People are about to fall, but it'll be God's doing. But you have to do exactly what Jesus said. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So in 1 Peter 5.5, 5, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he will exalt you in due time. Having cast your care upon him, for he cares for you. So tell him. It's not like he doesn't see. He knows exactly what's going on. But you have to give it to God. If someone is attacking your business, your job, your work, your ministry, your destiny, give it to God. For you are sober, you are vigilant, because the adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. We're not to be weaklings this year. You need to rise up and you need to be strong. You resist him steadfast in, steadfast in the faith. Remember, faith over fear. Knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brothers and sisters in the world. So you need each other. You need to cover each other in prayer and protection. But the God of all grace who has called us to his eternal glory by Jesus Christ after you have suffered for a while will perfect, establish, strengthen and settle you in Jesus name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In Psalm 35 1 says, Please my, plead my cause, O Lord. Strive against those who strive against me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of a shield and a buckler and stand for my help, almighty God. Draw out the spear and stop the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. You overcome Satan by the blood of the lamb and by the word of your testimony. Remember this year, walk in righteousness. Walk in holiness. Repent of your ways. Be careful what you're saying. Be careful what you're doing. Be careful who you are around. Because this year the wicked are about to fall. So Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, those who are listening right now, I take authority, Lord. May every witch be exposed in their life. Everyone who is coursing them. Lord, I destroy that. I break that course by fire and by force. May it come to nothing. Bring confusion, Almighty God, to the camp of the enemy. And I pray that those who are hearing me right now, Almighty God, that they forgive those who have hurt them and even people in their circle who they don't know is hurting them may they be exposed in Jesus Christ's name father in Jesus name I rebuke and I bind every spirit of witchcraft every spirit of infirmity every spirit of confusion that the devil is trying to cause every evil spirit every arrow that has been sent against your people may it fall now in Jesus Christ's name everyone who has spoken your downfall who has tried to course you your family your children your workplace your ministry your school whatever it may be or your relationship Lord, I destroy every broke every word, Almighty God, that has caused hurt. I break it now. I break every spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of rejection stops now because you are accepted. You are beloved by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Everyone who's praying against your destiny, who wants you to be destroyed, who is waiting for you to fall, who is laughing when things happen, Lord. May they fall themselves, Almighty God. May you fight on behalf of your children, Almighty God. May a hedge of protection, a wall of fire, your angels be loosed from heaven right now to surround your people. May their eyes be open to see what's happening around them, God. And if they are sitting under anybody, Lord, and they're being deceived, may you show them, Lord, that they are being deceived in Jesus' name. And anyone in ministry who has cursed any of your people and caused wounds, Lord, I break that curse right now. And Father, in Jesus' name, by the power of your Holy Spirit, I speak healing right now to every wound that has been caused by somebody in the church, somebody who they loved somebody who they trusted God in Jesus Christ's name and may they rise up and continue on walking in their destiny in Jesus Christ's name every spirit of death this is something I was praying for this morning hallelujah to the Lamb of God you will live and you will not die before your time 
over a book, I declare and decree every spirit of suicide, every spirit of debt to be broken in Jesus' name. Off you, off your children, off your husband, off your wife, off your friends. Every spirit of debt broken in Jesus' name. Anybody who's out to hurt anybody got to do with you or you yourself or anything belonging to you who's planning wickedness who's plotting lord may they fall into their own traps may these traps be exposed in jesus christ's name you will not fail you will succeed you will prosper i course every spirit of poverty every spirit of lack you will be in abundance you will have overflow of increase give and it shall be given back in jesus christ's name love those forgive those who hurt you because if you don't forgive if you're harboring bitterness or hate the tormentors come upon you so quickly forgive quickly let go in jesus christ's name hallelujah i bind every spirit of virus coronavirus every disease every pain every spirit of dizziness headache to leave you right now in jesus christ's name every bacteria to leave you in Jesus Christ's name, every report from the doctor that has hurt you of cancer, of anything, and the devil is lying to you in your mind, may it be destroyed right now, in Jesus Christ's name. Jesus Christ has healed you. You are healed by the blood, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Savior. Hallelujah. You need to believe the word of God. You need to declare the word of God. In Jesus Christ's name, I rebuke and I bind every spirit of delay, every spirit of hindrance, procrastination, everything that has been sent to hold you back, to hold your blessings back. I release your blessings now in Jesus Christ's name. Every devil, every principality of darkness, you back off now from the children of God in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Pain you leave now. Every lie in the mind of people that's causing them to think something that is not true i silence the voice of the devil right now i silence every lie of the devil right now be exposed in jesus christ's name i declare and decree child of god you are healed you are protected by god almighty himself you are loved you are highly favored you are rising this year. No weapon of war formed against you will prosper. Every arrow falls now in Jesus' name. And you yourself repent if you have spoken any coarse words that were wrong and have hurt anybody. And release those. Forgive people quickly in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty, we give you glory. Lord, I give you praise. You will not die before your time. You will live you will succeed, you will prosper, you are more than a conqueror, you are protected, Lord. Lord, I pray that they take heed to discernment, Lord, when you are warning them of danger, Lord. When they come and go, may they be blessed. May you nudge them, Holy Spirit, if there is danger before them, Almighty God, that they are protected, that they do not go where they're not supposed to go, that they listen to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. To the Lamb of God, you are rising in Jesus' name. Your light is shining bright in Jesus' name. Walk in love. Walk in divine health. It is your portion. It is what Jesus Christ has died and has given you. Your sins are forgiven. You are healed. You are blessed. Speak life. Speak the word of God over you. Believe the word of God. Brother and sister, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope that has blessed you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is alive. And you are loved, my brother and sister. I hope that has blessed you because it's blessed me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.